what's up guys happy friday welcome back to the channel if you're new make sure to subscribe turn on notifications and follow me at super high dc on twitter the link to my profile is always in the description you can follow me there thanks for all the support on the channel and let's get into the topic for today so Zack Snyder shared a new photo on Vero, of course, which is like his favorite social media platform to share things on. Looks like he's in a studio. We know that he has all of this cool, awesome stuff where at his home. Uh, looks like they are working on the movie. They have a big, you know, huge screen there in this beautiful studio. And he captioned it, let it begin. Hashtag Zack Snyder's Justice League. Getting everyone even more hyped. I don't know if we could get more hyped. <laughs> But of course, anytime he shares something, it amps it up a little bit. Um, of course, when Zach shares stuff, people like to look in the comments, see if he replies to anyone. Um, one fan said, I know you'll never read this comment or reply. Just want to say this year was crap. And when you said your cut of Justice League was coming out, it gave me something to look forward to. And I'm really happy that you get to show your vision to the world. Thank you, Zach, for everything. Um, showing his love there, thinking he's not going to get a reply from Zach, but he does. And he says, I'm excited for you to see it. So, of course, someone asked something that we're all wondering. Sir, when can we expect the announcement for the release, uh, the announcement of the release date, or at least the date for a new trailer? The hype is killing me. And Zach said, soon. So, since Jason Keelar said yesterday, with this huge news from HBO Max, if, you don't, sure, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and watch my video from yesterday about that. Um... He said that Zack Snyder's Justice League is coming out in a few months. So that doesn't seem like, you know, the middle or the end of the year, which I don't see why that would be the case anyway. But it seems like probably the first quarter of the year. So there should be a release date coming out soon for that to promote it even more and, you know, give people an idea of when we can expect to see it. It is, you know, we're in the end of the year now, the last month of the year. Wonder Woman 84 comes out in a few weeks. Maybe they can kind of use that to promote Zack Snyder's Justice League for HBO Max with a release date attached to it. So hopefully very, very soon. And then also, CCXP is going on right now in Brazil. We know that's like um, they're a Comic-Con in that part of the world. So a comic book artist, George Quadros, shared some really cool art on his Instagram profile and shout out to Ambassador again at the Dark Knight for giving me a heads up on this stuff. You guys are always looking out for me. Um, he shared some artwork of what looks to be Superman in the black suit. Um, here we go, CCXP. And then also CCXP World's A Journey of Hope exclusive poster. So it looks like there's going to be like an exclusive poster on sale for Justice League. Really beautiful artwork. Um, so that's pretty cool to see that they're, you know, acknowledging Zack Snyder's Justice League there at CCXP. I don't really know what else we can expect much from as far as like DC. There is supposed to be like a big panel for them. So I'm not sure. I know that they'll probably have something for like Suicide Squad, of course. Possibly Wonder Woman 84. Um, I know some people like are on the fence whether or not they want a new trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. I don't think they'll have one here, but just in general, like since a lot of people are expecting to maybe have one at the end of the year or something. I don't know. Like it's um, bittersweet because yes, it's four hours, but there's already a lot that we know. We know more than we would with any other movie or series because of what's happened with Justice League. So, of course, Zack Snyder already, you know, told us, like, this is the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more, right? There's a lot we know. We don't know what we don't know, and it's a lot. Four hours is a lot of footage. But I think I might be good with not having another trailer. As much as I want, like, the hype is not going to go away. You know, even if we don't get another trailer... The hype's not going to go away, but since it this is going to be such a huge property on HBO Max, I they probably will have another trailer because they've only had one. And it's not a full-length trailer, it's considered a teaser, even though it's like a decent amount of time. Um, it's still considered a teaser. 
So whether or not they're going to release another trailer, if they do, I'm not sure when that will be. Like I said, a lot of people are expecting the end of the year or Super Bowl because that's always a good time to promote, you know, entertainment. But I feel like if they want, they know that they have the fan base, the Snyder fan base, but if they want to keep attracting like general audience or people just in general, which of course they're going to want that to subscribe, they probably will have another trailer. But I feel like they don't need to do, they don't need to overdo it because they already kind of like, like I said, there's already a lot that people know. So I don't know. I guess it depends what their mindset is as far as how they want to market it. Of course, I know Zach said that they're going to have like a marketing campaign as they would for like a feature film in theaters. But as far as trailers and footage, I don't know how much they're how much more they're going to show. And even if they do show stuff, I mean, I don't think Zach will spoil anything major. He did say that, you know, as we get closer to the release, he is going to start, like, tightening it up more. You know, he's probably not going to be showing concept art on these live streams and stuff like that. So, I mean, even if there's another trailer, we there could still be footage that we've already seen. You know, that doesn't mean everything's going to be new that we haven't seen. Of course, the teaser pretty much was because this was, like, this is finally happening and Zach shared stuff that... He put in the trailer everything that he's been sharing with us over the years in images. So since he finally got to have a trailer for it, you know, he's like, I'm going to show you everything that I've been sharing pictures for and images. That's what I'm going to put in this trailer, right? If we have another one, we could see stuff that we saw in old trailers that was from Zach or stuff that we saw in the teaser again. So that doesn't mean that stuff will necessarily, we'll necessarily see too much if we have another trailer. But I know some people feel like they might not necessarily need to, but for marketing purposes, I think they probably will have like one more. Um, so yeah, release date should be coming out soon. Um, can't wait to find out if these March rumors are true. A few months should mean not like too long. So we're almost there guys, it's right around the corner. Um, gives us something amazing to look forward to for next year. And thanks for watching, guys. Check out the other videos if you missed them over the past few days. And again, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time.